Today we're tying a smaller, zonkered version of the famous gotcha shrimp, also adding in some rubber legs. The addition of both these materials help get a bit more movement out of the fly when it's sitting still. We're gonna start off using the Allen SW003 saltwater hook in a size eight. Start your thread one eye length back from the hook eye. Now we're gonna tie in a 2.4 millimeter brass barbell eye. Don't crowd the eye of the hook too much when you're adding in this weighted eye, as you wanna be able to fit in some extra materials there at the end. Now, work your thread all the way back to where the bend in the hook begins. The body and tail of the gotcha shrimp uses this diamond braid. You wanna start out by adding in a longer tag to become the tail, but making sure to include plenty of extra so that you can create the body. Tie in your tail and then bring the body section back and overlap it. This is gonna make sure that you have a smooth transition. For this variant, I'm gonna add in some rubber legs at this stage. I've got one doubled over rubber leg here, which I'm gonna trap down with a couple wraps and then make sure it fits evenly on either side of the body. Just be careful not to pull too hard on your rubber legs as you can snap them off. Now, I'm gonna pull those rubber legs forward and trap them down all the way up to in front of the barbell. I'll lay down some tighter wraps over those rubber legs, and then I'm gonna lay down some UV adhesive over top. Don't cure the UV adhesive, as you're then gonna wrap the diamond braid forward over top of it. Once you've tied it in, cure that UV adhesive, and then trim free your diamond braid, being careful not to trim your thread itself. Here, you can also split your rubber legs, pull them backward, and then take a couple wraps behind your barbell to make sure that they have the proper orientation. At this stage, you can also use the pointier scissors or bodkin to split those materials that form the diamond braid to spread out your tail. Now, roll the fly over, bring your thread back in front of the barbell, and then you're gonna tie in a section of zonker strip. Trim a small taper into the tip of your zonker so that it doesn't interfere as much with the hook point. You can also trim a small taper into the front. Now, trap the zonker down just in front of the barbell and create a smooth tapered head. The final material I'm gonna tie in is a bit of black crystal flash, which will create antenna and it'll get a little bit more contrast to the fly. Double your crystal flash around your thread and then pull it to the top of the hook. Now, whip finish and then add a coating of UV adhesive to finish the head. Here, I'm just gonna trim my antenna and those rubber legs a tiny bit to keep the fly a reasonable length.